In a new study, DNA from native Australians, Neanderthals and Denisovans have been found in ancient South Americans. The discoveries make it more difficult to understand the exact origins of some early South Americans. The genetic heritage of some of the earliest humans on the continent was discovered at archaeological sites in Brazil, Panama, and Uruguay. Remarkably, the presence of DNA from extinct human species, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans was been found by researchers studying the genomes of ancient South Americans. According to a press release, an increasing body of archaeological and genomic evidence has hinted at a complex settlement process of the Americas by humans. This is especially true for South America, where unexpected ancestral signals have raised perplexing scenarios for the early migrations into different regions of the continent. Researchers presented ancient human genomes from northeast Brazil and compared them to ancient and present-day genomic data. They found a distinct relationship between ancient genomes from northeast Brazil at Lagoa Santa. Uruguay and Panama, representing evidence for ancient migration routes along South America's Atlantic coast. To further add to the existing complexity, they also found greater Denisovan than Neanderthal ancestry in ancient Uruguay and Panama humans. Moreover, they found a strong Australasian signal in an ancient genome from Panama. This work sheds light on the deep demographic history of eastern South America, and presents a starting point for future fine-scale investigations on the regional level. According to the researchers, the study, which examined skeletal remains from Brazil, Panama, and Uruguay, also revealed the early South Americans' transcontinental migration patterns. Neanderthal or Denisovan ancestry has never before been linked to ancient South Americans. The research paper is titled, Genomic Evidence for Ancient Human Migration Routes Along South America's Atlantic Coast. Indeed, the presence of these ancestries in ancient Native American genomes can be explained by episodes of interbreeding between anatomically modern humans, Neanderthals, and Denisovans, which should have occurred millennia before the first human groups entered the Americas through Beringia. However, it also showed that migrations happened in the opposite direction, along the Atlantic coast. The research confirmed archaeological evidence of north to south migration towards South America. In the recent study, scientists compared the genomes of prehistoric humans discovered in Brazil, Panama, and Uruguay with those of prehistoric humans discovered in Chile, Peru, and the United States, including Alaska to represent prehistoric Beringia. The study used two ancient whole genomes that were recently sequenced from teeth discovered in northeast Brazil. The researchers also examined modern genomes from around the world and DNA sequences from Denisovan and Neanderthal remains, from Russia in addition to the ancient human genomes that were the focus of the analysis. The analysis shows that some of the human remains are only 1,000 years old, in contrast to the latter remains, which date back over tens of thousands of years, Neanderthals vanish from the fossil record around 40,000 years ago. The analysis also discovered Australasian signals in the remains of one person from Panama and portions of Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA in the ancient South American genomes, which is perhaps the most intriguing finding. The Australasian signal, which is still present in the Sirue people of Amazonia, was previously found in ancient ruins in southeast Brazil. In that sense, the data are consistent because the extra amount of Denisovan ancestry in some populations does seem to fit with extra ancestry from Papuans. Denisovan ancestry may have been incorporated into South American humans as long as 40,000 years ago, and its traces were found in the remains of a 1,500-year-old person from Uruguay. Future research into the precise timing of this Australasian ancestry component's appearance in the Americas, and the amount of Denisovan and Neanderthal ancestry it carries would be very interesting. Confoundingly, more Denisovan ancestry was detected in the genomes of the prehistoric people from Panama and Brazil than Neanderthal-specific ancestry. In fact, ancient Australasians may have reached the Americas without crossing Beringia, according to the lead anthropologist, who said there was no evidence of the Australasian signal in North American archaeological remains. In order to do that, Scientists plans to examine more contemporary and historic Native American and Polynesian genomes in the future research. The Australasian ancestry in the Americas is perplexing. This has been reported for isolated samples widely separated by space and time, 
and doesn't show a clear pattern we still do not understand how these ancestral genomic signals appeared in Central and South America, without leaving any traces in North America despite the fact that the Pacific Ocean separates Australia from the Americas, said the authors. Since Austronesians were skilled navigators, such ancestry may have spread with Austronesian across the Pacific, a non-Beringian route, despite the possibility, there is no proof that Austronesians reached the Americas. This may have occurred at the end of the last glaciation around 15 to 20,000 years ago, when rising sea levels submerged lands connecting Papua New Guinea with Australia and many islands in the region. The distance from Papua New Guinea to Panama is about 9,000 miles across the Pacific Ocean, but that distance could be cut in half if ancient peoples island hopped through Polynesia. These peoples, being hunter-gatherers, could not have survived on a small island for long because unlike the later Polynesians, they did not have agriculture. So they may have stopped over on these islands and restocked and kept going. A kayaker paddled from California to Hawaii in only 64 days, a distance of over 2,300 miles, with nothing but a 1980s GPS. So, crossing the Pacific in a few months is very possible if well provisioned, even with a simple watercraft. One of the oldest and most enduring human creations is art, which brings me to the sponsor of this video, Masterworks. With over 75 years of art buying experience, Masterworks is one of the largest buyers in the art market today. Masterworks was founded by a top 100 art collector and serial tech entrepreneurs who have founded companies valued at over $1 billion. Why invest in the art market? Art is a growing market, not correlated to stocks and bonds. It is not volatile, and outperforms both the S&P and other asset classes during periods of inflation. Billionaire investor and hedge fund manager Ray Dalio has called art the holy grail of investing. The total wealth held in art is estimated to be worth $1.7 trillion, and Deloitte projects it to grow an additional $900 billion by 2026. Masterworks is the platform for investing in contemporary, blue-chip art. That is democratizing the art market by allowing anyone to buy and sell fractional shares in high-value works of art. Indeed, billionaires have been quietly diversifying their portfolios with art for years. Now Masterworks allows investors like you and me to diversify as well. There's currently a waitlist to sign up for Masterworks, but with my exclusive code you can skip the waitlist and start investing today. In fact, the Torres Strait people who live on islands between Australia and New Guinea are famous for their sailing, and their sturdy watercraft with unique clamshell-shaped sails. In ancient times, these people were traders connecting Australia to Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia, which may surprise you if you were educated to believe that Australia was totally isolated from the rest of the world before, Europeans quote-unquote discovered the continent. This landmass of Australia and Papua New Guinea is known as Sahul to geographers. Australians and Papuans became genetically distinct around 39,000 years ago, when the lands between the two regions began to be flooded. There was also another huge landmass encompassing much of the ocean around Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand called Sunderland that also disappeared under the ocean by 12,000 years ago. Where were these ancient peoples refugees from these disappeared lands who took their lives to the ocean when their homelands were drowned? The genetics of extinct hominin species are increasingly influencing how we understand the history of humankind. As more ancient genomes are analyzed, researchers will be able to create a more complete picture of how humans spread across the continents, and how much of what makes us human actually comes from species other than Homo sapiens. In addition to the genetic evidence already supporting the north to south migration towards South America, Researchers have also discovered for the first time migrations traveling in the opposite direction along the Atlantic coast. There are still many unanswered questions, such as whether or not the first humans moved south along the Pacific coast. While there is archaeological proof of a north to south migration by ancient indigenous peoples during the initial settlement of the Americas, it is still unclear where these ancient humans went after they arrived. Researchers found migrations going in the opposite direction along the Atlantic coast for the first time, in addition to new genetic evidence supporting the north to south migration towards South America that already exists in archaeological data. 
the study offers the most thorough genetic support there has been for intricate prehistoric migration routes through Central and South America. Results of the study, which were published in the journal Proceedings of the Royal Society B, indicate that ancient Uruguay and Panama, which are 5,277 kilometers, about 3,270 miles, apart, were eventually connected by human migration closer to the Atlantic coast. Based on the ages of the ancient people, it is estimated that this unusual migration pattern started about 1,000 years ago. In fact, the study offers important genomic evidence for regional-scale ancient migration events along South America's Atlantic coast. These localized events most likely resulted from early South American indigenous peoples migrating in waves along the Pacific coast. The ancient genomes from northeast Brazil, Lagoa Santa, Uruguay, and Panama are found to have a distinct relationship. According to this new model, the majority of the Pacific coast and the Andes were mostly populated before the Atlantic coast was settled. Researchers found that ancient people from Uruguay and Panama had more Denisovan ancestry than Neanderthal ancestry, which further complicated the situation. The admixture must have taken place a very long time ago, possibly 40,000 years. It is likely that there was significant human, Denisovan admixture because the Denisovan lineage survived, and its genetic signal was found in an ancient Uruguayan person who is only 1,500 years old. The two ancient human remains from northeast Brazil, which are at least 1,000 years old, were previously discovered by archaeologists, who then sent them for DNA extraction, genomic sequencing, and analyses. The entire genome sequences from northeast Brazil were then sent as raw data for computational analysis. The two recently sequenced ancient whole genomes from northeast Brazil were compared to other ancient whole genomes from the Americas, as well as the current global genome. In contrast to hundreds from Europe, only a handful of ancient whole genomes from South America have been sequenced and published. There is no other evidence in the archaeological record that suggests shared cultural features among them, aside from the occurrence of mass burials in the sites that produced the samples from northeast Brazil, Uruguay, southeast Brazil, and Panama. The analyzed prehistoric people from southeast Brazil are also about 9,000 years older than those from northeast Brazil, Uruguay, and Panama, which provides ample time for expected and obvious cultural divergence. Even though they are closer in age, northeast Brazil, Uruguay, and Panama are thousands of kilometers apart from one another. The Americas were the final continent to see human habitation, besides Antarctica if you want to be technical. An expanding body of archaeological and genomic data suggests a complicated process of settlement. This is particularly true for South America, where unforeseen ancestral signals have sparked puzzling hypotheses about the earliest migrations into various parts of the continent.